Welcome to the channel. This weekend we are headed down to Southern Scouts Regionals at the Charlotte Motor Speedway and we are taking the Traveler. So um, try to get a little work done today to it. We're going to test the uh, thermostat sensor which might be an issue and I'll show you some of the things we've been doing this week trying to get her road ready. <laughs> so stick around. So here's the Hellbinder, my wife's 79 Traveler, she picked up. We worked the week trying to get it ready, um, trying to get our Virginia inspection. Um, we had backup light here that was just totally rotted away inside. Uh, had to solder extra wires and add that clip. Problem was is that both of the tail lights were full of water at the bottom and so a humidity moisture rotted away the iron components so the little spring that touches the light wasn't working but we've got that fixed um, had to work on getting the tag lights those uh, just clean connections got those working uh, what else oh had to get the horn working and again clean connections took off the horn button uh, sanded around the connections in there and got that running well and we had a turn signal here that that, uh, again, corroded connections, just uh, where, the, um, where the clip is inside, the clip itself had just rotted away. So I uh, took the clip out, basically. That was what I had available with me yesterday. We are trying to get this to Charlotte, and I'm working on a bit of a truncated timeline. Um, we really didn't expect to be going. I've not even registered for the event, but they say we can do it at the gate. Um, we didn't expect the brakes to be figured out, uh, but, uh, you know, we had just, uh, we had fought those off and on all winter. And uh, it was a booster. It was a booster, um, which was just bleeding vacuum from the motor, which, oddly enough, made the motor run a whole lot better. Um, so, get that done. What else did we do? I think that was about it. Um, today... I'm working on the temperature gauge, uh, if it doesn't totally rain me out. <laughs> Normally I wouldn't give a whole lot of worry to it because, well, because it's my style not to worry too much about it, but uh, when I was getting it inspected, we noticed a little bitty coolant leak, leak right down there on the ground. And so um, I kind of like to know what the temperature is while I'm driving down the road to give myself a little heads up uh, before it erupts. So let's see what we can do. So to test the thermostat sensor, the heat temperature sensor, um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the filter off. We're gonna get down to the sensor and we're gonna ground that sensor to the negative post on the battery. And we should see it max out because as resistance um, decreases, the temperature sensor moves across is my understanding and Lord don't take my advice on this stuff. This is what I'm going to give a try. And as long as we see that moving, then we know everything between the wire and the gauge is intact. Um, and now I just need to get a new temp sensor. When I realized uh, yesterday that this was an issue or that I, I wanted to get this fixed because of I was seeing that leak, I went ahead and ordered a new temp sensor because I need one for my scout in Alaska anyway. So O'Reilly's says it is there and ready for me this morning. So if this works out, um, we'll be able to fix it. If not, it'll be in the dash and likely as not, I will not try to fix that today. Um, that's a little bigger deal than I want to try to do before we take off tomorrow. And so I will just uh, smell the motor as we're going down the highway and watch for the steam blowing out of the hood and then I'll know it's getting a little hot. So anyway, let's get this off and take a look. So this is the 345 motor. Um, I 
don't have a lot of experience with it yet. We drive it around here to town occasionally. But certainly this trip to Charlotte will be the longest trip. I have to look up how long, how far of a trip that is. Try not to get totally soaking wet on the side of the car. Because, like I mentioned, it is raining. Anyway, here's our sensor right here. Um, that'll test temp. And so, in theory, if I ground this wire out on maybe that bolt, which is connected to that battery, that I still should see movement inside on the dash, on the gauge. So let's, uh, let's give that a shot. I'm gonna move you inside because I'm here alone today and you're gonna be my other set of eyes, so I'm gonna record it and then see if it moved. <laughs> okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna watch right here and we should see this max out if I can get a good connection. So pay attention right there and then let me know. First off, I forgot to say, you gotta have the key turned on and then the keys are inside. I'll be back. Okay, I am back. Keys in the ignition. Turn on. Everything. Yep, it should be. It should be on. Okay. So keep an eye out right there. Tell me if it moves. Is it moving? Hold for a second in case it takes time. What do you see? I'll come look. Well, let's take a look and see if that worked. Okay, I feel like I saw a little movement there, but folks, I am blind as a bat. So, I am going to... I've put a jumper on the clip and I'm gonna run it straight to the battery instead of trying to ground it onto the block. So let's uh, take a look now. All right, is it moving now? Yell if it is. <laughs> Where are my kids when I need them? Okay, I'm holding on there a little long just to make sure that if it moves, it has time to go across. The little movement I saw looked fairly slow. Let's take a look. All right, let me take a look. I don't even need to watch the video. I can see the temperature thing going backwards now. So I believe it did work. Okay. So what we're going to do is this. Uh, I'm going to go to O'Reilly's. I'm going to pick up my temperature sensor and we're going to put that baby in. Um, so at least then I know if that radiator blows. I'm probably also going to buy some of that radiator stop leak as much as I hate to do it. But the whole end of that radiator is corroded down, down the side. Um, and the odds are I'll probably end up having to go back with a um, one of those new aluminum ones. Actually, there's a guy up in Withville, Virginia, uh, a couple years ago, is up there, and he still does recoring of radiators. So I might check in with him about having it record. But regardless, a little bit of stop leak in there might get us a little further down the road and back. Um, so I probably will pick up a jug of that. All right. So it's the next morning. Um, just kept raining yesterday and life got busy. So I have my um, sensor here somewhere. Ah, got my sensor here. I'm gonna put it on this morning, run my son to school and uh, we'll see how she works. All right. So I 
then there's my sensor. Nice handy location. Right there. See, I don't know what you'd even be looking for, but it's certainly been in there a while. That's a, yeah, so. Anyway, from our test, I feel like this is it. Now, I'm looking at this and I don't see, I don't see any sealant or anything on the threads, but I'm gonna add just the smallest amount of RTV. Um, Cause I don't feel like it can hurt. So just a, just a tiny little bit of RTV. Um, like I said, I don't see any on the threads from before, nothing, no threads. So I'm just gonna put a little in the thread. I'm being careful to keep it away from the sensor part just in case, but I don't believe there would be any problem there because it doesn't, it just looks like a piece of brass. I mean, it might slow the temperature down a little bit, but not much. It says it'll cure in 24 hours, so we're just going to bake it on while we drive down to Charlotte today. <laughs> Started in with my fingers. tighter than I would have thought it would be, but I'm going to back it up a little bit, just double check I'm not cross-threading it or something silly like that. No, just a little, a little snugger. It might be like a conical-shaped hole that creates a more of a Little fat stubby fingers have a hard time keeping them in there. Thread it down about as far as it looks like the last one was. I think we're good. Get my little wire put on. My little plastic cap that has slid all the way up and does nothing anymore, but. There we go, folks. A working temperature gauge. Woo! Got her warmed up, drove my son to school. Everything looks good. So we are going to get back, get packed, and hit the road. It's a new car. Going back in time. All right, so we made it to Charlotte yesterday. Everything's working good, getting her warmed up this morning. Parked next to Sydney across America there. Carl. Anyway, it was a good night. 
talking scouts with some uh, lots of scout people and this morning having coffee in the hotel. A little chilly this morning. It's about 35 degrees in Charlotte, which I didn't really expect. April putting the final shine on the show car with the hotel towel. <laughs> Whew, look at that baby go. <laughs> Pretty good showing. There's the travelers. And still a few more coming in. I figured this is as good a place as any to stop the video. We're about an hour from home. Um, we finally made it up Fancy Gap out of North Carolina. Traveler's running great. Um, Southern Scouts Regional was excellent. Met a lot of great people. Um, had a good time and we will definitely be back again. April's Traveler uh, brought first place in the Terra Traveler category and we won't tell you how many people was in it, but from what was there, the competition was very stiff. <laughs> anyway, so um, take care. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you out there on the road. Scout on.